Curiosity Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. So far, we've seen Corpus Christi College, Cambridge, and Imperial College, London, take the first two places in the semi-finals of this competition. Both teams playing tonight lost their first quarter-final matches, which means that whichever of them wins will earn one last chance to qualify. For the losers, I'm afraid, the tumbrils await. Now, so far, the team from Jesus College, Oxford, have had two defeats and two victories. The defeats were at the hands of Manchester University in round one and Durham University in their first quarter-final. Their victories, which no doubt they much prefer to dwell on, were against the universities of Sheffield and Birmingham in the playoffs and in round two. Those four fixtures have given them an accumulated score of 575 points. With an average age of 20, let's meet them again. Hi, I'm Lucy Clark. I'm originally from Ottershaw in Surrey and I'm reading for a DPhil in early modern history. Hello, I'm James Cashman. I'm from Guildford in Surrey and I'm studying history. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm originally from Wellington, New Zealand and I'm studying philosophy, politics and economics. Hi, I'm Miranda. I'm from Seven Oaks in Kent and I'm studying biology. Now, the team from the Courtauld Institute of Art have suffered one defeat so far, and that was at the hands of Imperial College London in their first quarter-final match when they didn't quite find the form they showed when they beat the London School of Economics in round one and Glasgow University in round two. From only three fixtures, their score so far totals 400. With an average age of 21, let's meet the Courtauld team again. Hi, I'm Ash Silver. I'm from North London and I'm studying for a BA in History of Art. Hello, my name is Morgan Haig. I'm from Cardiff in Wales, and I'm studying for a degree in the History of Art. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Harry from Winchcombe in Gloucestershire, and I'm studying for a PhD on Middle Byzantine Eucharistic Objects. Hello, I'm Nancy Collins. I'm from Blackpool, and I study History of Art. <laughs> right, fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first start of a ten. What name is generally given to the French Protestant supporters of John Calvin, who were granted... Jesus Clark. Huguenot. Huguenot is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on terms used in poetry. In each case, give the term from the definition. All three begin with the same letter. Firstly, what term denotes a poem such as Lewis Carroll's A Boat Beneath a Sunny Sky, in which the first letter of each line spells out a word or words, or in this case, the name Alice Pleasance Little. Acrostic. Acrostic. Correct. Secondly, what term derives from the name of a ruler of antiquity and is used for a line of poetry written in iambic hexameter? It's an Alexandrian. Alexandrian? Alexandrine. Alex Alexandrine, that's what you were told, yeah, I'll accept that. <laughs> Lastly, what French term denotes a poem that laments the arrival of the dawn to separate lovers, an example being John Donne's To the Sun Rising? Obard. Uh, nominate Clark. Obard. Obard is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What six letters end the names of all of the following? A Roman Catholic conspirator executed in 1586... <laughs> A major si Jesus Clark. I N G T O N. Correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on research papers named by the journal Nature as being the hundred most frequently cited. Firstly, the list includes papers describing the Lowry method and the Bradford assay. These concern ways of analyzing or quantifying. Which broad class of biochemical macromolecule? Proteins. Correct. Also cited is a 1987 paper describing a single-step method to isolate which other complex compound from a biological sample using a technique known as AGPC extraction. DNA. Uh, DNA? No, it's RNA, ribonucleic acid. Five points for this. A paper from 1977 is entitled DNA Sequencing with Chain Terminating Inhibitors, 
Which British Nobel Prize winner is cited as the first author of this publication? Simon? Could it be D Dorothy Hodgkin or is that too late for Dorothy Hodgkin? I think it's a bit too... Actually, I don't, I don't think it's Simon. Sanger? Sanger is correct, yes. Yeah. Right, ten points for this. Give the name of the chemical element that has a symbol of two letters that begin the surnames of a Nobel Physics Laureate born in Rome, a racing car designer born in Modena, and the director of... Cottle Prance. Iron, F-E. Correct, yes. Mm. Right, your bonuses are on Carolingian rulers. In each case, I need the regnal name, which is the same for all three, and the uncomplimentary by name by which they're commonly known. Firstly, which grandson of Charlemagne became king of the West Franks in 843 and was crowned emperor in 875? Because he's Nobel, like 50, which would just... Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carolingian, so are they like Otto's? Aren't they all called Otto? Yeah, so they're all called Otto. Otto. But what, Otto the what? Otto the Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> Otto the Wicked. <laughs> no, it was Charles the Bald. <laughs> <laughs> Which nephew of Charles the Bald became emperor in 881? He bought off the Vikings when they besieged Paris and was deposed soon afterwards. Charles the Mad, isn't it? Charles the Mad? That was Charles the Fat. <laughs> and finally, which son of Louis the Stammerer became King of France in 893? The territory he ceded to the Vikings later became known as Normandy. Charles the Simple? I, I, I'm sure there's a Charles the Mad at some point. Mad or Simple? Mad sounds more important. Yeah. Charles the Mad. No, it's Charles the Simple. Oh. <laughs> Could be the same thing, of course, but that won't do. Right, we're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a map on which a major city has been marked. Ten points if you can name the city. Uh, Cotal Prance. Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv is correct. <laughs> Tel Aviv's modernist white city zone was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2003 as an outstanding example of early 20th century urban planning and architecture. For your bonuses, I want you to identify three more cities containing World Heritage Site listed as exceptional examples of 20th century building. First, this planned city. New Delhi? Uh, isn't it, is it not... Um, is no, it, no, no, it's 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 in, no, 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 it's in... It's in India. It's, yeah. Oh, no, you're right. It's, it's not, it's not Delhi. Delhi yeah, yeah, it's the big... Um, not this one. Hyderabad? Hyderabad. <laughs> Uh, no, that's the other end of India. It's Chandigarh, which was built to designs by Le Corbusier. Secondly, this state capital... It's not, no, it's not really, because it's a state capital. Oh, no, that's on the coast. It's... Okay. Surely, could it not still be Brasilia? Because it's... Is it Brasilia's yeah, right it, in the it middle? Could be a state capital. Brasilia? No, it's Belo Horizonte. It contains the Pampula Modern Ensemble, designed by Niemeyer. And finally, this capital city. Uh, the capital of Djibouti, isn't it? So, or is it Somalia? It's not... No, it's Djibouti. It's not Addis Ababa. I've, I've no, Addis Ababa is in Ethiopia, which is below that. Oh, yeah, of course. So, yeah, yeah, what's Djibouti's it. capital? Doesn't it begin with a B? Bukhara? No. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't know. <laughs> That's Asmara, the capital of Eritrea. Ten points for this. I need two answers promptly. Grenada is the furthest south of the Lesser Antilles and Barbados the furthest east. Which two island countries lie immediately west and northwest of Barbados? Both their names begin with the word Saint. Jesus Cashman. Saint Lucia and Saint Kitts? Nope. Caught Old Hague. St. Lucia and St. Helena. No, it's St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Right, ten points for this. Alcohol written without punctuation and the Petten poems, known as calligrams, are among the collections of which French poet active in the early 20th century? He's also... Caught Old France. Apollinaire. Apollinaire is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses, Courtauld, are on the author Penelope Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald's first published work was a biography of which pre-Raphaelite artist whose paintings include The Beguiling of Merlin and The Mirror of Venus? 
Jones. Ben, yes, ben Jones. Yes. Edward Ben Jones. Correct. Fitzgerald's novel, The Blue Flower, concerns the 18th century German poet... Novalis. Friedrich... Novalis is correct, yes. And finally, in a 1992 review, what non-fiction work did Fitzgerald describe as a woman's story told in confidence by one generation to another and the story of China over the last hundred years? Oh, is it it's, um, Yung Chang? Is it Wild Swans? Maybe? Good yeah, Wild Swans? Wild Swans is correct, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Answer with an improper fraction as soon as your name is called. What is the value of the definite integral with respect to x between the limits x equals 1 and x equals 2 of the function y equals x squared? Court old France. 3. No. Jesus Clark. Half. One half. No, it's 7 over 3. Ah. Ten points for this. Sorry. <laughs> Over, you're going to have another go. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Let's crack on with it. Ten points for this. What ancient Greek term for a boy or youth implying noble rank? Has... Old France. Ephib. No, you lose five points. Has since the late 19th century given to freestanding male nude statues first produced in the archaic period in Greece. I'll tell you if you're not going to answer Jesus. Jesus Clark. Carrioted. No, it's Kouros. Right, you're going to get another starter question now. Ten points for this. Born 1835, which French composer wrote the music that was choreographed by Michel Fokin for Anna Pavlova's performance of the solo ballet, The Dying Swan? Court old Haig. Ravel. No, anyone like to buzz Jesus, Jesus Clark. Debussy. No, Saint-Saëns. Ten points for this. Written by Rivest, Shamir and Edelman, the 1978 paper, A Method for Obtaining Digital Signatures and Public Key Crypto Systems, introduced which two fictional characters who attempt to communicate securely over a network? Jesus Clark. Alan and Steve. No, it's not <laughs> Alan and Steve. <laughs> Court old, anyone want to buzz? Court old Haig. Bill and Ben. <laughs> no, it's Alice and Bob. <laughs> Ten points for this. Spire, pyramid, passage, quarters, inheritors and flies are the last words in the titles of novels by which English writer? Jesus Cook. Golding. Golding is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on British geography, Jesus. All three answers begin with the same letter. Which water and forest park in Northumberland includes a man-made lake and England's largest forest? A single word answer is sufficient. Is it supposed to be? No, it's that's not south. south. Um, um, I don't know, I'm trying to think what's... It's not like 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 it's not Noted for its fine Georgian market square, which small town on the River Tweed lies about 30 miles north of Kielder Water? Keswick. Oh, is it? I don't know. Yeah. Um, Kidderminster? Maybe. No, that's, that's... Keswick. No, that's on the other side of the country. No, it's Kelso. And finally, about 80 miles west of Kelso, what is the largest town in East Ayrshire? In 1786, it saw the first publication of a collection of poems by Robert Burns. Um, is it? Kilt. Mm, um, okay. Um, is it Kilmarnock? Um, oh my God. Kilmarnock? Okay. Kilmarnock? What? Kilmarnock is not a place. Yes. It's a football okay. team. I think that yeah. might be it, yeah. Uh, Kilmarnock? Correct. <laughs> right, we're going to take your music round. Your music starter, you'll hear a piece of popular music. Ten points if you can identify the group. Jesus Clark. Kraftwerk. Correct. <laughs> that was their Trans Europe Express from the 1977 album of the same name, widely regarded as one of the most influential in the world of electronic music. Your bonuses are three more excerpts 
from acclaimed Electronica albums. In each case, I want the name of the artist, please. Firstly... Yeah, that's what I said, but I don't know. I don't think it is, but I don't I think it's anything. Uh, Moby? No, that's Aphex Twin. And secondly... <laughs> Yeah, that's also the one I was thinking about. I mean, again, Portishead. No, it's Burial. And finally, this group. Soul to Soul? No, that's Massive Attack. Right, ten points for this. What biological structures are being described? If those of Fraxinus excelsior are pinnately compound and those of Acer hippocastanum palmately compound? Jesus Stevens. Leaves. Leaves is correct, yes. <laughs> right, you get a set of bonuses on astronomy. In 2019... Evidence was published that the cores of certain stars are condensing into crystalline form. What two-word term is usually used for these low-luminosity stars, a class that includes Procyon B and Sirius B? They might be white dwarfs. But would they be low-luminosity? Because they're at the end of their life, aren't they? To go with it. Uh, white dwarfs? They are white dwarfs, yes. <laughs> white dwarfs are supported against gravity by quantum mechanical degeneracy pressure applying to what particles? Um, so quantum degeneracy pressure, that's... Um, Is it that type of particle? Yeah, I... Because I think when you break things down, it's the protons and the neutrons. 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 No, they're electrons. Oh, sorry. Electron sorry. degeneracy pressure is overwhelmed when the mass of a white dwarf reaches a certain limit. Named after which Indian astrophysicist? Bose. Bose? No, it's Subramanian Chandrasekhar. Ten points for this. In which US state is Mount Mitchell the highest peak in the United States east of the Mississippi? The same state was the location in 1903 of the first powered flight by the Wright brothers. Uh, Court old prance. New Hampshire. Anyone want to buzz from Jesus? Jesus Cook. Virginia. No, it's North Carolina. Ten points for this. C-A-C in French and T-L in German are abbreviations for what widely used unit of measurement corresponding to around five millilitres? Jesus Cook. Teaspoon. Teaspoon is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses, Jesus, are on collage art. Cut with the kitchen knife dada through the last Weimar beer belly cultural epoch in Germany is a large-scale collage of 1919 by which Dadaist? She's regarded as a pioneer of photo montage. Pass. That's Hannah Hook. And secondly, which US artist coined the term combines to refer to his three-dimensional collage works? These include the 1955 monogram, which incorporates half a taxidermied goat and a car tire. It's an, it's an introduction to modern art. Pass again. Quarter would have got all of these, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's Rauschenberg. And finally, which French artist is generally credited with initiating the papier collé or pasted paper technique characteristic of late cubism in his 1912 work Fruit Dish and Glass? Um, French. It's not something. Something. Yeah, I was going to say something. No, but it's not cubist. Um, um, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I can't think of any. Gree? No, it's Georges Braque. We're going to take another picture around for you. A picture starter, you're going to see a painting. 
Ten points if you can name the artist. Court Old Prance. Kandinsky. It is Kandinsky, yes. <laughs> Following on from that Kandinsky there, who considered his geometric works to have a musical dimension, seeing shapes and colours as expressions of notes and chords. Your picture bonuses are three more paintings that attempt to give a visual form to music. Name the artist in each case. Firstly... Uh, Seurat. 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 No, that's Signac, um, Opus 217. Secondly... It's Keith. O'Keefe. Yeah. Georgia O'Keefe. Georgia O'Keefe. It's called Blue and Green Music. And finally, this unfinished work... Mondrian. Yeah. Mondrian. 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 It's his Victory Boogie Woogie. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Which poem by W.H. Auden begins about suffering they were never wrong? Court Old Prance. Musée des Beaux-Arts. Correct. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on sites that host migratory birds. Firstly, five points for this. Attracting large numbers of migratory wading birds, 80 Mile Beach extends from Broome to Port Hedland in which Australian state? Broome to Port Hedland. I'm going to go for New South Wales. Yeah, just go for it. Yeah. 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 Okay. New South Wales. No, it's Western Australia. Secondly, a transit point for migratory birds, Doniana National Park, is situated in southwestern Spain at the mouth of which river? I don't know, I don't know. Spanish river, but any of them. Can't help you. The Rio Blanco. Should try it? Rio Blanco. No, it's the Guadalquivir, <laughs> surprisingly. <laughs> And finally, a stopover for migrating birds, the area known as the Sundarbans, is situated on a delta on the borders of India and which country? Bangladesh, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Say that, yeah. Bangladesh. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Known for its striking long and white moustache, the Emperor Tamarin Monkey is thought to have been named after a continental European ruler with what regnal name? Caught all prance. Frederick II. Nope. Jesus Clark. Charles. No, it's Wilhelm. William. Ten points for this. Its name derived from the Latin for ring. Which animal phylum includes marine ragworms, paddleworms? Jesus Stevens. Annalida. Correct. Your bonuses this time, Jesus, are on garden flowers. Name the flower in each case. All three begin with the same letter. Firstly, a genus of the nightshade family with trumpet-shaped flowers, usually in the form of a pentagon. It shares its name with Harry Potter's maternal aunt. Petunia. Yeah. Petunia. <laughs> Correct. A cultivated form of viola tricolor, secondly, often with purplish or yellow flowers. I need a single word common name derived from the French for thought. Pansy. Pansy is correct. Finally, the flower mentioned in the first line of a poem of 1915 by the Canadian physician John McRae. Poppies. Poppies. Poppies is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. I need a three-letter term here. Milford Haven in Pembrokeshire is an example of what type of post-glacial landform defined as a long, narrow inlet formed by the partial submergence of a river valley? Jesus Stevens. Fjord. No, anyone like to bust some court hall? Court College. Sat. No, it's a rear. Ten points for this. What is the cosine of the natural logarithm of factorial zero? Court Hall Prance. Minus one. Jesus Cook. Undefined. No, it's one. Ten points for this. What five-letter word may follow all of these to make other words? Touch, grind, ah. birth. Court Hall College. Stone. Stone is correct, yes. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on French tapestries. Originally more than 130 metres long, which 14th century French tapestries are displayed in the castle of Angers and are named after the event from the Book of Revelation that they depict? Oh, it's the, um... Last, not Last Judgment. It, oh, the Apocalypse. The Apocalypse. The Apocalypse? Correct. 
An example being the lady and the unicorn. What French name is given to the tapestry design popular in the late Middle Ages in which a primary scene appears on a background of numerous flowering plants? Is it, it's not nature, nature, is it? No, that would be nature, nature. nature. Yeah, but that's not French as well. No, that's um, not good. Le nature. <laughs> no, it's mille fleurs. Named after a family of dyers and cloth makers. Which factory became the official supplier of tapestries to Louis XIV in the 1660s? Um, Any idea? Sorry, no. It's the Gobelin factory. Ten points for this. Answer promptly. The names Mississippi and Tennessee each contain three pairs of double letters. What is the only US state whose name contains exactly two pairs of double letters? Jesus Clark. Illinois. Sorry, no, I know that's wrong. <laughs> You're right. It is wrong. Anyone else want to buzz? No, don't know. I'll tell you, it's Massachusetts. Oh. Ten points for this. Who was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize in 1937, 1938, 1939, 1947, and finally, shortly before being assassinated... Jesus Cook. Mahatma Gandhi. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on orchestral music. What term signifies a short, prominent passage for the brass section in an orchestral piece, particularly as a form of ceremonial introduction? It appears in the title of a 1942 work by Aaron Copeland. Fanfare. Fanfare, Fanfare is correct. Secondly, the fourth movement of which composer's first symphony opens with a distinctive fanfare. It was first performed in St. Petersburg in 1887. Is that Tchaikovsky? Because it might be Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky, I would say. Come on. Tchaikovsky? No, it's Rachmaninoff. And finally, short ride in a fast machine is an orchestral fanfare by which composer, born in Massachusetts in 1947? Gong, Porto Institute of Art have 90, Jesus College, Oxford have 135. And the answer, of course, was John Adams. Well, bad luck, Porto. That's <laughs> it, isn't it? It's goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, you've been a fun team. Thank you very much for joining us. And you at least enjoyed it. Jesus, many yeah. congratulations to you, but you're going to have to do it again. That's yes. your first victory in a quarterfinal. Yeah. We shall look forward to seeing you next time for another quarterfinal. But until then, it's goodbye from the Porto Institute of Art. Bye. Bye. It's goodbye from Jesus College, Oxford. Bye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>